Hey guys, I am Kyle. In today's video, I am going to show you how to easily accept payments on Wix. Alright, so now here we are in Wix.com. And then from here, in order for us to easily accept payments, is that I have a new method for you, and I think this one would be the best. So what you want to do is you want to click on this Add Elements button right here on the left side. And then from here, you simply need to click on search right here and type here PayPal. And then from here, you should see the PayPal button right here. So this is what you want. So you want to click on that. And then from here, to double check, you want to make sure that it is provided by power right here. And then once you're done, click on add to site. And then this would open up right here and click agree and add. And then after that, you should be seeing it right here. And now here it is. So now you can just position this where you would want it. So for example, just for the sake of an example, I'll just place it right here and just I'm going to resize this right here. So let's just say, for example, this is our product right here. This is where we are uh, talking about our product and then we have our buy now button right here. So let's say you position it right that and then from here, what you want to do is you want to click on settings so that you can set up this button and so on right here and the customers would be able to pay for it. And from here, the first one is you have the template right here. This is what will pop up. So you have three templates depending on what you want. So you can go buy now, you can go for donate, or you can go for subscribe right here. But in this case, I'll just go for one time purchase. And then you want to go into settings next. And then you want to make sure that here, you want to make sure that your connect payment account is uh, set up right here. So here in your PayPal, all you have to do is provide your email right here on PayPal. So once you have set up your email right here, you would need to verify it. You would need to go to your email and then it would send a verification code or a link right there in order for you to verify it right here. But I'm not going to do that right here in this video so that we can uh, save more of time. And then once you're done with this one, this is very crucial. Okay, so don't miss this step. And then the next thing is that you can now uh, see here you have the autoresponder email, the payment notifications, and redirect after payment. So the payment notifications right here. So this is where you can uh, have notifications too. And then the autoresponder email, this is very important. So you can click on enabling this so you can uh, customize your autoresponder email. So what does this do? So this is basically like the thank you email that the buyer would get after uh, ordering your product or buying your product right here. So this is how you do it. You can edit it right here. So yeah, you can feel free to edit this one. For example, I'm gonna edit this text and I'm gonna go and uh, let's just go and type, thank you so much for purchasing, just so that you can see that I have edited it. And then as you can see, just like that, and you wanna hit and save. And then once you do that, then you can now uh, go back. And then you also have the redirect after payment. This is basically like the thank you page for the autoresponder, but redirect after payment is basically uh, the, the customer will be redirected to a link instead of an email. So I think this one is better compared to an email where the customer would uh, less likely check their email right here. So redirect after payment would be a great one so that you can just provide a URL of your uh, of your thank you page, but this one is for premium features only, so you would need to upgrade your plan. And then the product right here, so you can customize the button text, the product name, and so on. So you could go for buy uh, shop now. Maybe you can do it like that. And then as you can see, it would be changed just like so, and so on. You can change more of the product cost is also very important. Let's just go for uh, for $1 just like that and then the next is tax shipping discount codes and so on so yeah you can just feel free to edit that and then the next one is the design so you have the your themes right here so you can customize this if this looks too boring for you or it doesn't fit your website so I can click on this one right here on the classic and now it would look like this so yeah depending on what you want you can just uh, modify it so just feel free so in my case I'll just go for this modern one right here and then you have your other apps right here. You don't really need to mess with this one right here. So once you're all done uh, configuring your settings and so on right here, now you can just uh, exit. All right, so now that we're done, we can now click on publish and then we should see it on our site. So let's click on view site. 
And then from here, let's just wait for the button to appear. And now it's here. So let's click on the Shop Now button and let's test out how it looks. And it would look like this. And as you can see, this is the price that we have set. And they can set multiple uh, products if you they want to buy more. And then all they have to do is uh, go for PayPal Checkout or PayPal Credit and so on. So that is basically it for this video. I hope this video helped you out.